Hello, my name is Fatima Tuzera and I am from Class 10 C. Today, I am going to inflate the balloon with the help of chemistry. So, let's see how we did it. So, the materials required for this experiment are a bottle with vinegar, baking soda, balloon and plastics. Put this baking soda inside the balloon which I have already done. Now, open the cap of the bottle and slowly cover the cap of the bottle with the help of balloon as shown. And carefully let the baking soda inside it, inside the balloon, mix with the vinegar. Wow! Now let's understand what actually happened over there which made the balloon inflate. We have learned that when acid reacts with metal bicarbonate, it gives out, it gives out salt, carbon dioxide and water. Here, vinegar was acid and the baking soda which was sodium bicarbonate is base. This vinegar reacted with baking soda to give out carbon dioxide, water and sodium acetate. Oh, so we now understood that the carbon dioxide which was liberated helps the balloon to inflate. But how do we know that the released gas was carbon dioxide? Let's see. In earlier classes, we have learned that the carbon dioxide is the extinguisher of fire. So, if the burning mastic, when put inside the bottle, the fire of the mastic blows off, that means the carbon dioxide is present over there. For that, we gently need to remove the water, the balloon and close the cap so that the carbon dioxide doesn't escape out. Now let's put this burning mastic inside the water. The fire goes off. Let's do it again. That means the carbon dioxide is present over there. Okay. So that means the carbon dioxide was actually present over there and the balloon actually got inflated with the help of carbon dioxide. Thank you. Hope you like my experiment. Stay at home, stay safe and take care.